today's video, I'll be using PCM uh, version 17. And um, on this machine, I have a Pentium 100 megahertz computer. And I'm using a MS DOS 6.22 with Windows 3.1. So one of the problems with DOS is that you don't have enough um, conventional memory to run programs. So let me demonstrate. So choose right here, I have about 585,888 bytes of free memory. So back in the old DOS days, um, you needed a certain amount of conventional memory to uh, play games or run programs. So uh, some programs may require 550 K bytes, others maybe 575, some may require 620, some may require 600 K bytes or whatever. But the amount that I have is 50. 585 K bytes. So I want to get more. So basically for Windows 6 and higher, they had something called Mem Maker. This could help you get more uh, conventional memory. Just going to run Express Setup here. Yes, I want to use expanded memory EMS. So right now it's going to be configuring my auto exe bat and config.sys. It's telling me to remove everything, any floppy disks. It's going to restart the computer a number of times. Try to get the best configuration. Okay. Well, before I had 856,032 bytes free, and after MemMaker, I have 603,360 bytes free, so 117,328 byte difference, so it's more. So back in the DOS days, um, when you load drivers onto your auto exes, bat, config.sys, what it does is it uses up some memory. So what MemMaker did was it adjusted how much memory should be used for each driver to optimize how much, to optimize uh, how much conventional memory 
was will be used basically. So it optimized how much memory each driver would get and try to set it at the lowest setting so you get more conventional memory basically. Shows right here. I think this is bytes or something amount of memory that's used. So it set it automatically. So I could get the most um, conventional memory basically. So now I should not have any problems running uh, any MS DOS games. Okay, so this is a diagram that I made for. Uh, different types of memory in a DOS, MS-DOS based operating system. We have conventional memory, which is about 640k bytes. You have upper memory. This is within one megabyte, which is 384k bytes. And you have HDM. It's high management memory which is about 64 K bytes above one megabyte. The, the memory here is used for like uh, the, your bios, like your, for your um, video drive, video bios, video card bios, uh, sound card bios, uh, your chipset for your motherboard bios, so basically stuff like that. And this is the memory that is required in excess of conventional memory. So let's say the game requires four megabytes of RAM, then you would have to have expended or expanded memory. If you don't have that, then you can't run the game. But for the conventional memory, there's a requirement. Even though you have, let's say 64 megabytes of expended or expanded memory, if you only have let's say 550 K bytes of conventional memory and the game requires 590 K bytes of memory, then you're not going to be able to run the game because you don't have enough conventional memory, even though you have enough expanded memory. So that's, that's why you use a program like MemMaker or QEMM, which was another popular uh, type of memory management software back in the 19 late 1980s or mid 1980s i'm not really sure around that time so it was a uh, that's why you have many memory management software like that but uh, when dos 6 came out um, they added that into mem maker so it came with the operating system so you could just use it and tweak it automatically. You could do it manually, but it would take a lot more time and it would be a lot more laborious. It's just better to just use the software because it's much easier to do. So anyways, um, I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for